Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot Aquarius. You're up next. I am here to do your monthly reading for March 2020 for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, guys, tapping into your energy. First, I saw um, in my mind's eye uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about mastering, diligently working at something. Then I heard positive movement forward. Then I was pipe Grand Rising Ravens. Then I was piped uh, this new Omarion song. At the title is, is something like "Can You Hear Me?" I'll find it and link it in the description box. Then I saw in my mind's eye ten zero one, which gives me a mirroring effect. So we may be talking about a divine pair, a twin flame, a perfect match. Then I heard bright light at the end of the tunnel. And I was given the feeling of like a Gemini energy. So having two sides, two halves to a whole. And um, I saw in my mind's eye an, an illuminated eight. Eights are about movement and abundance. Then I heard something very interesting, a little bit of love and a lot of protection. So it could speak of a new budding relationship that's under angelic protection, or it could speak of a relationship that is ending and only a little love is left and it's under angelic protection. Then um, in that Omarion song, the line that stood out the most is too much security, them other folks can't get near me. So being so secure in who you are and where you are in your life that no one or nothing bothers you. Then I have felt six of swords energy, which is moving on to calmer waters. Then I heard stepping out of the box. Time to embark on a new journey. Draw your own navigation charts as you discover the route. The time is right now. You will be led true even when you are not sure where you're going. After I heard that, I was then shown in my mind's eye a card called Many Paths from my Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. And that's about um, embarking on a de destination, not knowing where you're going. And since you don't know where you're going, any paths will get you there. So this is going to be the meat of our reading for March. So let's get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcome here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a March reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, guys. So the decks that I was led to, my incense are going out. Um, the deck that decks that I were led, was led to are these three. I'm going to get an overall read on the energy from Sundara Fons, Reawakening the Soul. Draw our spread from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck and use the Tarot of Dreams as clarifiers. All right, so here we go. A card for the overall read on the energy for the month. One card, please, for an overall read on the energy for Aquarius, Aqua, Sun, Moon, and Rising. One card, please, about everything that I tapped into. About being so comfortable in your movement that no one can touch you. One card, please. One overall read. Thank you. And it comes out strong on feminine energy, fire, south, future. So needing to transform something for this period that you're embarking on. So fire, setting fire to something. Now fire, if you are not balanced, can be destructive. So you have to be in balance, heart, mind, and body to uh, skillfully 
use fire to transform, okay? So tell the story, please, for Aqua, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2020. What do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? About card is out as I'm shuffling, we'll keep it. About, um, so some resistance. About transforming to go into the future, yes. A ending here, a cyclical ending. Thank you. And someone needing to make a judgment and speak the truth about it. So first card of a read, let's jump in, is here's this light at the end of the tunnel, the eight, and the positive movement forward. Booyah, I love it. So everything I tapped into, eights are about moving, movement and abundance. Beautiful light leading you forward name of the card is positive movement forward beautiful so positive movement for, forward first card in the reading always the thickest and heaviest energy of the read because you're at the end of a cycle the universe is here the universe card number 21 reduces to a three threes are all about connection communication specifically with the angelic realm then we have card number 20 which reduces to a two Twos are about partnerships, alliances, a choice between two, balance, represented by the scale here, needing to speak the truth in a judgment, okay? It's the energy that this card has. So this is what we have so far, positive movement forward after something has ended and a needing to speak the truth and make a judgment. I feel most of this is past energy. Thank you. Anything else for Aqua, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2020? Two more cards, please. Thank you. All right, so unknown. Yes, prosperity begins. Ace of Pentacles energy. Card number one, new beginnings. This is a brand new, huge, prosperous beginning handed to you by the divine. It's a new job. A home, a win, unknown. After some heartache and loss, card number three, second three. So threes again are about connection and communication with the angelic realm. Also unknown, yes, another number eight, movement and abundance. What kind of movement? Accelerated motion, fast movement, quick communication and or travel with the Eight of Wands at the bottom of our deck. Yes, an ending has happened. You're at the end of a cycle, sure enough, after some heartache. But you got positive movement forward and a prosperous new beginning with accelerated motion and a need to make a judgment. Because guess what? You're in victory and success. Everything in this reading is based on victory and success. This is public recognition. This is winning, is what I just heard. Beautiful. Sixes are about harmony or the journey too. Now, because the overall read on your energy is fire, there is a need to transform something while embarking on this new beautiful beginning. What I'm directed at, interestingly enough, is this heartache. So that means you're needing to let it go. So you can't sit there. Life happens to everyone. So let's find out what's behind this heartache. Tell the story of heartache and loss. And I'm using um, Tarot of Dreams to clarify, which is different. So but these were my directives. So I always oblige Holy Spirit. Heartache and loss. Thank you. Anything else? I told you. Until you get out of this, you won't be able to take hold of this new prosperous new beginning that the divine is trying to hand, hand to you. Anything else for heartache and loss? Last pass. Heartache and loss. Thank you. Having no faith that you can move past this situation that has ended. So, but before this lack of faith is falling on this new prosperous beginning, the Eight of Cups. So needing to walk away from this heartache and loss to get your new beginning is exactly what this reads. I tell no lies. <clears throat> you have everything that you need 
to embark on this beautiful new beginning and to do it quickly, okay? You got double eight energy at the bottom of your deck, victory and success. You have everything based on this victorious period, but needing to burn away this heartache. Can't sit here in order to take hold of this beautiful new beginning. So after you release this heartache and loss, let's see what this accelerated motion looks like. It's a beautiful reading, all about letting the past be the past and allowing a better story to be told. Accelerated motion, why is it here? Tell the story. What's this accelerated motion, please? Thank you. Yeah, and grabbing hold of this new prosperous beginning. Yes, so let's see what we have. <clears throat> so, unknown. Knight of Swords, rushing in aggressively to speak the truth. Second card about speaking the truth. Unknown. But two of wands in reverse, still not making a choice to. So as soon as you make the choice, that's when you get this accelerated motion. Then we have coming out the nine of coins in reverse. So in the upright, this is a single independent energy who enjoys the fruits of like a fruitful life. In the reverse, this is someone who is fighting singlehood, needing to make a choice to. Because when you do that, that's what gets you this accelerated motion, positive movement forward, and a prosperous new beginning. Got to let this cycle end. Cycle of what? Six of Cups. It's a nostalgic love. Okay? In the upright, which lets me know that there's still some sweetness here. If it were not, it would be in the reverse. So something going on with this nostalgic love. Someone needing to rush in aggressively to speak the truth. Haven't made a decision to. And fighting this singlehood. I'll do one last pass for accelerated motion. And until you make the decision right here, two of wands in reverse, you don't get this accelerated motion that propels you to all of this good stuff. But it's here for you to take advantage of. Not just, thank you. Yep, and you're juggling in your mind. This is your challenge, juggling. Thoughts, ideas, people. So, these, this is what keeps you blocked from this accelerated motion. They want us to look at the bottom of the deck. Hangman. So needing to go and remove yourself and go into a period of solitude to get clear thinking. Okay, that's the only way you'll be able to take advantage of this accelerated motion. So all of the energy that you need is here. Let's see what this truth is. Yes, I hear it, Ravens. So yeah, when ravens appear, that magic is near. And you have all of this beautiful energy that you should take advantage of, but you're in two minds about this ending. Let's see what the truth looks like, this truth that you're fighting. And this will be the last card we clarify. Tell me about the truth, this judgment. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> about a king of cups who's in reverse. So he's not giving love as it is, okay? This is my emotionally available and mature and fully giving of his love in the upright. He's reversed, so he's turned his back. And this is the struggle to gain positive movement forward. Here's our six of swords that I saw tapping in. I saw it in my mind's eye in the upright. It comes out in the reading as a challenge. So challenge to move past yucky times. Challenge to move on to calmer waters. This is the truth. This is the judgment that needs to be made. Anything else? Still ambivalence. This is what's keeping you stuck. Last pass for truth. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I got a feeling that this card holds heavy weight means it has a lot to say. Thank you. So let's see what else. So, still unable to make a choice. I tell no lies. Second time we've seen it. 
very second time we've seen the two of wands in reverse. And unknown. Nine of cups. You're not having wish fulfillment here. Okay? No wish fulfillment here. Five of swords. Willing to win at all costs. Now, that's what keeps you stuck. Because you think you're winning, but you're not. You're holding yourself captive from what? Your Ten of Cups. This is emotional peak in the upright. The happiest you'll ever be in the 3D realm. So it's eluding you here because you're not telling yourself the truth about the situation. And then we have finally a stalemate. So no communication here at all. This is all happening in your mind. And your advice is to let the cycle in. Okay? This is our message. I'll give us a card of advice for navigating this energy. Now, closing this cycle opens you up for your next beautiful cycle. And once you make it up in your mind to do it, you got quick movement here to assist you in this abundance. It's all about perspective. A learning to live in the flow, learning to allow endings, okay? Practicing non-attachment. That means you're not chasing happiness. You're accepting it and living in it fully when you have it. And when it leaves, you allow it to leave gracefully because you know it opens the door for better. So one card of advice for navigating the energy and the spread for aquas, sun, moon, steel resistance, and rising for March 2020. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Navigating this energy. March 2020. Still resistance. Still resistance. Still resistance. Still resistance. Wow. Uh, ending is here. The universe is different from transformation. And that transformation leads to a new beginning. You could transform a dead thing to something living again with the death card. With the universe, it is a definite ending. You can delay. And as I say delay, I get that whole stack. I'll read it and put it back. The universe, but it is a definite ending. So the holy mountain, the journey, the crow, completion again, the hunter, and the sacrifice sums up everything we're talk we've talked about. So you're on a holy journey, basically, to the top of the mountain where you look at um, obstacles, not as obstacles, but as small things because you can see the all. This is the journey that you're on to climb that holy mountain. You have crow wisdom, which means you have inner knowledge that this is a completion. You are to be the hunter and to chase this Universe is ending down so you can open up to your beautiful new beginning and sacrifice. And you know what the sacrifice is. This heartache, this loss. So let's get one card of advice for navigating the energy in this spread for aqua, sun, moon, and rising. One card, please. One card of advice for Aquarius navigating the energy in this spread. Thank you, the Rainmaker. And I'll read from the book for a card of advice. 42 reduces to a six. So again, harmony, the journey to harmony. So not only is it the base of your reading, but it is also your card of advice about how to get to this harmonious period after some yucky stuff. So I'm looking for 42 in the book. The Rainmaker. So, the essence. The Rainmaker is the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good. When the power to co-create is used with integrity, great beauty and benefit flow to all. When this power is used for personal gain only, everyone suffers. When the earth is parched, the Rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens, and all that is dormant in the fields and in people's hearts spring to life again. 
the invitation. The rainmaker is calling you to create something new from the elements that are already in your life. Be sure you work with what is and not with what might be or could have been. Remember, this relationship is in a stalemate. So work with what is. The seeds that have been silently germinating in your heart will burst forth ready for the sunlight. Do not hold back. Put all your chips on the next roll of the divine dice. The medicine. Recognize how you are co-creating your world. Nothing is happening out there without your involvement. Remember that the world is only mirroring back. That's why I saw the 1001. Remember that the world is only mirroring back to you the condition of your love and your intent. So change those within before you take any action. Do not take life personally. Beautiful. All about creating on the inside what you want to see on the outside since life is but a mirror. So this is our reading, beautiful people, for March 2020. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check me and the Holy Spirit out over on Instagram. I'm there seven days a week with a card of advice each day. So if I'm not on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram at Fifth Element Tarot 777. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next month, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.